Hi there grade 9s and welcome back to Worksheet Cloud Maths. Today I think I've got a very exciting lesson for you, although every maths lesson I think is exciting because maths just happens to be the best subject on the planet. Right, let's see what today holds. We enter our fifth lesson on volume and surface area. It is the second to last lesson on volume and surface area, so the next one will be the last one. Right, and so today what we're going to do is we're going to look at the effects of doubling certain measurements and what effect that has on the volume of the shape. So here is our shape. It's a rectangular prism and as, as you can see it has um, a length of uh, sorry a length of six centimeters, a breadth of five centimeters and a height of seven centimeters. So before we can look at the effects let's work out the volume for these measurements. So we're going to calculate the volume and it is vo volume is length times breadth times height. Very simple. Um, so our length is 6, our breadth is 5, and our height is 7. Multiply them together and we're going to end up with 210 centimeters cubed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to double certain measurements and then see how that affects the overall volume. Okay, so let's get going. All right, so there we have our volume. I've put it down the bottom so that we can keep on referring to it. And what are we going to do first? We're going to double the measurement of the breadth, so it would be that there, the 5 centimeters, and then recalculate the volume. Okay, so again, there is our formula, length times breadth times height, and as you can see, our length is the same, it is 6 centimeters, we've doubled the breadth, 10 centimeters, and we've doubled the height, which, sorry, we've kept the height the same, which is 7 centimeters. So let's see what this comes out to. If we multiply them all together, we're going to end up with 420 centimeters cubed. Have a look at your original volume. What's happened? Okay, let's go on. Now let's double the length. So the six centimeters is going to be doubled, but we're going to keep the breadth and the height the same. Okay, and we're going to go 12 centimeters times five centimeters times seven centimeters, and we're going to get 420 centimeters cubed. Guys, if at any stage you think that I'm pulling a fast one here, Please use your calculator and double check my working. Okay, right, let me, let's have a look at the next one. We're now going to double the height. So we're going to keep our length and our breadth the same, but we're going to double the height. So there's our formula again. Double the height is going to give me 14 centimeters. So it's going to be 6 times 5 times 14. And what do we get? 420 centimeters. So it looks like Whatever side you double, whether you double the length, or you double the breadth, or you double the height, you're going to double the volume. Okay, because 420 is double 210, right? Okay, so let's carry on and see what next we're going to double. Right, this time we're going to, well, we're first going to work it out um, looking at the ratio of each. So we're going to compare it looking at the ratio. Okay, so doubling the breadth. Our original volume as to our new volume will be 210 centimeters cubed as to 420 centimeters cubed and as I said that would be 1 as to 2. In other words we are doubling the volume every time we double one of the sides. Okay right so doubling the length is the original volume and the new volume is the same it's double that as I said just now so your ratio is 1 is to 2. And doubling the height, it's exactly the same. Your original volume and your new volume is doubled. Um, and it's 1 is to 2. Again, as I said just now, every time you double a side, you double the volume, which means that the ratio is 1 is to 2. So it is double. Right. Okay. Let's now look at if we double two of the sides. So we're now going to double the breadth and the length and recalculate the volume. So the breadth and the length is 6 and 5, or 5 and 6, whichever way around you want to put it. And we're going to double both of those. So the one's going to be 12 and the other one's going to be 10. So 12 times 10 times 7 is going to give us 840 centimeters cubed. And then if we compare using a ratio, we're going to get double the breadth and the length as opposed to our original volume. Yeah. And so it's 210 centimeters cubed, cubed as opposed to 80, 840, and what is that? 1 as to 4. So when we double the breadth and the length, 
The ratio is 1 is to 4. It means it's 4 times bigger. The volume is 4 times that of the original volume. That's by doubling two of the sides. Okay, so now let's check if it works for doubling the height and the length. Um, we're going to work out the volume. The height, remember, is 7, so we're going to double that to be 14. And our length is 6, so we're going to get 12 times 5 times 14. What is that going to give us? 840 centimeters cubed. That's what we got just now, isn't it? So let's work out that ratio. Okay, we've got double the height and the length, the original volume as to the new volume, 210 centimeters cubed as to 840 centimeters cubed, and that is going to give me 1 as to 4. So again, we are increasing it four times, by four times, okay? The volume is four times bigger when you double two of the sides. So remember, it's two times bigger, or twice as big, when you double just one side measurement. But when you double two of the sides, it's going to be four times as big. So what's going to happen when we double, um, well, this is just checking, doubling the height and the breadth. So let's just check, because that's the, the third combination. So let's check what happens here. So we're going to double the height, which is 7, and the breadth, which is 5. So it's 6 times 10 times 14, and we're going to get 840 centimeters cubed. So that just proves it again, okay? We're going to end up with um, a ratio, again, of 1 as to 4, okay? So again, it proves that when we double two of the sides, we are quadrupling the volume. So it will be four times bigger than the original volume that we had. All right. Okay. So now what happens if we actually do all three sides? Can you try and predict? I'm sure you can. Okay, let's have a look. So now we're doubling the measurement of the height and the breadth as well as the length. And then we're going to recalculate the volume. So actually we, we're doubling 6 to be 12, 5 to be 10, and 7 to be 14. We're going to multiply them together. And what are we going to get? 1,680 centimeters cubed. So let's compare by working out the ratio again. Okay, there's doubling the height and the breadth and the length. It should be the original volume as to the new volume. It's 210 centimeters cubed as to 1,680 centimeters cubed. And that, as you predicted, is 1 is to 8. Okay, because this is double what it was when it was just doubling two sides. Okay, so when you double one side, is 1 is to 2. The volume ends up being double the, the original volume. When you double two sides, then it's 1 as to 4. So the volume is four times bigger than it was originally. And when you double all three measurements, then it is eight times bigger. Okay, so you can imagine this fitting into an eighth of the big one, which is those measurements, 12 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 14 centimeters. Okay, everybody got that? Right, let's look at the effects of halving now and see if we can figure that out. Okay, so again, here's our, um, our shape and there's our original volume. All right, let's go through this. So now we're going to halve the measurement just of the breadth. Okay, so the breadth is 5, half of 5 is 2 and a half. Right? So it's 6 times 2 and a half times 7. Okay, there we go. 6 times 2 and a half times 7 centimeters. Calculate that. It's going to give me 105 centimeters cubed. Okay, look at that as opposed to that. All right. So we're going to compare by working out the ratio. Okay, so we're halving just the breadth. Our original volume is 210 centimeters cubed. And our new volume, by halving the breadth, is 105 centimeters cubed. So what is that ratio? It's actually the other way around. It's 2 as to 1. So actually, instead of doubling the volume, we're now halving the volume. So the volume of this whole shape is halved when we halve one side. Let's check that it works for the others. So now we're going to halve the measurement of the length and recalculate the value, the volume. Okay, there we go. There we have our formula. And we're going to halve the length, which is 6. So we're going to halve it to 3. 3 times 5 times 7. What does that give us? 105 centimeters cubed. Okay, 
So I guess you know exactly what the ratio is going to be, because by halving the length, the original volume is 210 centimeters cubed, and the new volume is 105 centimeters cubed. So again, we have halved the volume by halving just one side. Let's make sure that it absolutely works, and by halving the height. And then we'll recalculate the volume again. Okay, there we go with our formula. Re, uh, half the height, 7 centimeters, so it becomes 3.5. So it's 6 times 5 times 3.5. It ends up 105 centimeters cubed. Again, okay, work it out or compare by working um, out the ratio. Again, we've got halving just the height, the original volume being 210 centimeters cubed, and the new volume 105 centimeters cubed, which again works out that the volume is halved. Okay, so, so far we've got, by doubling one of the sides, we double the volume. Why, by doubling two of the sides, we quadruple the volume, so it's four times as big. By doubling all three sides, we are going to make the volume, or the volume is going to end up being eight times bigger. Then by halving one of the sides so far, we've worked out that we halve the volume. Okay, so we've worked with each of the three sides um, and halved each one independently, and we've worked out each time that it is half of the original volume. So now, what's going to happen when we halve two of the sides? So here, it says halve the measurement of the length and the breadth. So the length and the breadth will be 6 and 5, so it's going to be 3 times by 2.5 times by 7. And what do we get? We get 52,5 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's put that into our ratio. Halving the length and the breadth, the original volume is 210 centimeters cubed. The new volume is 52,5 centimeters cubed. Okay, what does that give us? Absolutely, 4 as to 1. Remember, when we um, doubled two of the me measurements, it was 1 as to 4. That means it increased 4 times. Okay, now it has decreased by four times. So actually it is a quarter of the volume of the original shape. Okay, let's now choose two other sides, two different sides, and see if that works. I'm sure you know it will, but let's just go through it anyway. Okay, so here we are halving the measurement of the length and the height and recalculating the volume. So if we halve the measurement of the length, that's 6 centimeters, will be 3 centimeters, and the height, 7 centimeters, becomes 3.5 centimeters. So there's our formula. Plug into the formula. 3 times 5 times 3, 3,5 or 3.5, and, and we end up, again, with 52,5 centimeters cubed. Let's work out the ratio. Okay, we're going to compare. Half the length and the height. The original volume, 210 centimeters cubed. The new volume with halving the length and the height is 52,5 centimeters cubed. Okay, what does that work out to? 4 as to 1. In other words, it is a quarter of the whole volume of the original shape. Okay, let's do the last two sides, which is the breadth and the height. And we're now going to recalculate the volume. And I know that you know what it's going to be, and especially when we work out the ratio. But let's just double check. Okay, so we're going to um, halve the breadth, which is 5 centimeters, so that's going to become 2.5, and, and the height, which is 7 centimeters, and that's going to become 3.5. Okay, so we've got 6 times 2.5 and times 3.5, and, and it's going to, once again, you were right, give me 52,5 centimeters cubed. Again, just double check. Let's compare using the ratio. And we go, it's from halving the breadth and the height. You've got your original volume. You've got your new volume, 210 centimeters cubed as to 52,5 centimeters cubed. And that's going to give me 4 as to 1, which means that it is a quarter of the entire volume again, of the original volume. Okay, so once again, just to go over everything we've done so far, because we've still got one more thing to go. When we double one side, the volume doubles. When we double two sides, the volume is four times as big. When we double all three sides, the volume is eight times as big. When we halve one side, the volume is halved. When we halve two sides, the volume is 
becomes a quarter of the original volume. Now let's see what happens when we halve all three sides. Okay, so halve the measurement of the breadth, the length, and the height, and recalculate the volume. Okay, we've got length times breadth times height, it's going to be 3 times 2.5 times 3.5. Okay, there we go. And what is our answer there? 26,25 centimeters cubed. Now, as you can see, that is half of what we had before, um, which was the 52,5, um, and which was a quarter of the whole volume. So if we compare this using the ratio, there's the ratio, Let, let's work it out. Half the breadth and the height, and it should say, and the length, the original volume as to the new volume, the original one was 210 centimeters cubed and the new volume 26,25 centimeters cubed and that is 8 as to 1. So when you halve all three sides it becomes an eighth of the size. So you can imagine it's just about the small. Okay, um, so eight of those will fit into this whole block. Alright, so guys quite a short lesson today. But I think you can see the pattern. You can see how by doubling, how it affects the volume. And you can see how by halving, how it affects the volume. So please don't forget to do the activity because you are going to see that all on your own using a different size shape. You're going to work that all out. You're going to work out the ratios and you're going to prove this once again. So it's not only for this shape that it would work as in this um, size a rectangular prism. It's for any rectangular prism that this, would, that this would work for. But please remember, play around. Don't only do the activity. Draw your own rectangular prism with whatever um, length, breadth and height you want to on the measurements um, and work out and see if it works for every single one. It's always better to do it as many times as you can on your own because then it proves it to you when you've done it yourself practically. Okay. So please also don't forget, if you've got any questions about this lesson, to email your query or your question to grade 9 at worksheetcloud.com. And please don't forget to do the activity that is attached and check it against the memo. Right, thank you for joining me today for this lesson. Um, I know it was quite repetitive, but it was actually quite interesting to see exactly how halving and doubling affects the volume of a shape. And next time when we come back, we're going to look at the other shapes that we looked at before. When we looked at volume and surface area, we'll be looking at how halving and doubling affects um, a triangular prism and also a cylinder. Okay, guys, keep well. Until next time, can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye for now.